This video is going to be about the chromosomal basis of sex. So we know from a previous video that we have two sex chromosomes um, that an individual can have. So there's the X chromosome and there's the Y chromosome. So the X chromosome is going to be much bigger uh, than the Y chromosome and contain a lot more genetic information than the Y chromosome does. And so the Y chromosome is going to be a lot smaller. It's not going to have as many genes, but on the Y chromosome, at the ends of the chromosome, there's going to be regions that are homologous to regions on the X chromosome, which is going to allow um, the X and Y pair to actually pair up during meiosis um, and then separate like normal uh, homologous pairs of chromosomes because of these two regions. So when we actually undergo meiosis in males and females, um, the chromosomes that the gametes get are a little different. So in females, for example, females are always going to have two X chromosomes, or not always, but normally they'll have two X chromosomes. So when a female starts producing eggs, every egg is going to get one copy of an X chromosome. So all of the eggs produced by um, a woman are all going to have an X chromosome. So with males, on the other hand, though, we have um, an X and a Y chromosome. So when a male makes his gametes, half of them will get an X and the other half will get a Y. So just from this, we can see that um, whether or not the child is going to be a male or a female really depends on which chromosome they get from uh, their father. So for example, if and an, if a sperm with an X chromosome combined with an egg with an X chromosome, then it would be a girl. And if an egg with an X chromosome combined with a sperm with a Y chromosome, then it would be um, a male. So now that we kind of understand what the sex chromosomes are and kind of uh, how they work a little bit, we can look at um, an example of a sex-linked gene. So sex-linked genes um, are going to be genes that are inherited um, on these sex chromosomes. So um, a really good example of this is something called the SRY gene. So the SRY uh, gene is called, it stands for the sex determining region of Y. So it's a portion of the Y chromosome that's really important in the development of male um, sexual characteristics. And so this gene, it's on the Y chromosome, so it can only be inherited if you inherit a Y chromosome. And so it'll only um, be present in males. So that would be an example of a sex-linked gene. So that's going to be really any gene that's located on one of these sex chromosomes. Um, another example would be colorblindness. So that's an X-linked gene. So that's on your X chromosome. Um, and that's how that would get passed on from one generation to the next. And we'll get into uh, what that actually looks like in the next video. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.